We are here, we are here, we are here. What is an amazing day. Hi everyone, this is Cam Jones, FX Zillion Analysis, and we are marking up MSCR. Let's take a look at what's going on in the market. Overall structure. Market started here. We got a spike up to the high. Market came right back down, consolidated. Push back up, spike up to the high. This wick is identifying markets losing momentum in that market. Market is not able to hold up to the high. Market dropped back down, closed out. Market stopped at some type of second level highs, came back to for another push up with second try. Didn't happen. The market pushed down. So market's coming from a double top. We do have that first leg, second leg, third leg. The market did push down for that fourth leg. All right, so let's head back over to price action. <clears throat> price action, last candle in the market is a bearish hammer. Okay, it's showing that market is working its way down, coming from this high with multiple pushes to the top, maybe about two to three. Uh, identifying two right now on this time frame. Let's show it out first, second, third, fourth. Okay, and then as we walk down the time frame, we probably identify three pushes to the top, maybe four, because of these two weeks in the middle. Okay, so you have to double top market came down to some type of midpoint this is areas of lows lowest lows lows uh midpoint and we can see market price is right on the midpoint so also with price action candle is having a hard time to break there's like a 50 50 chance going on right now price action body is below the previous candle body but price action wick is not a below the previous wick. So market is inside inside that like wedge pattern if you think about it like this. So we could be waiting for another pattern to form in this area to identify what's going to go on in that market. Could be another push down in red. So identify as we walk down. Headed down to the weekly and there's a push down in red, but it's a retest candle that didn't even make it all the way down uh, past the second and last candle. So these two structures identify the same thing. Market's consolidating in this area on the SR line. So we have to let the market keep doing what it's doing so we can figure out what it's doing. Price action is coming from some type of double top in that area of nearby. Overall, we did receive multiple pushes to that top. Uh, one, two, three, four, four pushes to the top. So market's coming from an overall four pushes to the top. Uh, have a retest and the market pushed down once so far. So we'll identify this will probably identify in green as we walk down that structure. So let's walk down, see if we can see that retest candle and multiple retests. Okay. So let's take a look at price action and see what's going on in that area. Price action candle is a bullish, it's almost like a doji slash inverted hammer. Okay, so what we're gonna pay attention to this is price action. Is it engulfing? Second last candle, yes. Price action body is above the previous body. Price action wick is above the previous wick and is engulfing some other wicks as well over in this area. So this could be the candle that can push that market up. We may have to wait for a second candle to form, maybe a third candle to form. But looking at that structure, there's a pattern form in that area. If this area below price is respected for those touches, <clears throat> on this screen right here, we do see coming down in red for the first leg, second leg, third leg. Market could be pushing up for that fourth. Also, price will be breaking the resistance. It will break the resistance, come back to return. We'll look for entry to that market to push up further. If that does not happen, we can see that market can't consolidate in this area between our SR lines. And we also have market can tag this resistance multiple times as we currently see. And also, this is a pattern inside of a pattern, which is the what? Break and retest, double retest. That market could double retest this area and drop back down. But when we walk down the time frame, we're going to definitely see more than a double retest, a double top, a double two pushes to that top to that area of price. It may look like three because it's doji. We'll identify as we walk down further, headed down to the four. Okay, yep, three pushes to that top of that resistance. It's one, this is two. And Mark is on the third one right now, so we don't know what's going to happen. So, like I said before, if this market is, re is retested, is respected for this support, 
through four pushes down to the bottom. Now we can see that spike that, like I said earlier, on the daily time frame, first leg, second leg, third leg, fourth leg, retest, market pushed up once. So market price is breaking this midpoint SR line, actually broke the midpoint SR line. Let's erase this off the screen, one moment. Take off this top SR line, okay? So <clears throat> price action is breaking the SR line, it's broken it already. So we're looking for a retest as we walk down the time frame. Price action candle is above the second to last candle body and wick. So when it's very dominant, that can push up. So we may be looking at market pushing more up. And it's on with if we see that if we identify the break and retest as we walk down the time frame. Um, headed down to a three hour time frame, price action inverted hammer. Okay, side by side. So market's having a hard time pushing up in an area of resistance. So price action candle is a retest candle. So let's draw it out again. First leg, second leg, third leg, fourth leg, retest, market pushed up once. And that's the retest currently is on at that high because it went up to the next level. So we can clearly see price having a hard time breaking the next level. Um, let's head down to the two, let's see what it's looking like. Headed down to the two, side by side. Okay, price is above the price, but price action wick is lined up with the second candle wick and it's straight line, so is that area of another candle conformance is wedge pattern that we currently see and until we finally get that breakout they'll be waiting for a doji as well headed down to the one hour let's see what's going on side by side candles two and one looks the same market extended uh two one and 45 this is more of a retest with price action on the 45 price action candle on the 45 is a retest you can clearly see it because it's halfway on the second to last candle so it broke up retesting. So something's going on here. It may identify as a doji as we walk down further. Maybe, maybe not. Oh, it's coming. Here we go. Doji right here. Not the color I thought it was going to be, but still a doji. I expect this color to be red, but it's green. So with, so price action candles are doji. So we have to wait for the next candle to engulf this candle to push that. See, that mark's going to push down because we still are waiting for the break, which is we can't. I mean, we ain't waiting for the break. We have the break. We wait for that market to come back down to retest. So we look for entry for that market to go up. Okay, so we look for that engulfing pattern. See that market engulf that pattern market, push that market down. We may not get a retest now. We may get it later on. If we do, we may, have to, we may see a bullish candle close out above this that can push that market up. And if not, it'll consolidate in this area of that wedge pattern within that wedge that is already at the top of that resistance. Headed down to the 15. Price action can do. Um, uh, bearish hammer that's engulfing the second last candle doji that can close the market out. If that market closes out, it can push down. I mean, if that market closes out with this candle, this market can push down. It, this is the engulfment of the second last candle, third last candle. It is dominant that the market can push down. If you're unsure, wait till the second candle to form, or, may, or you may want to wait to a third candle to form for better confirmation that the market is going to push down further. If not, take a look. Let's keep looking at the time frame. It down to the five minute. Okay, so market price in the five minutes, that's a retest. Okay, so market basically broke down, came back to retest, and we know that why. Price action can do wick is not below the previous wick, and price action body is below the previous body of that candle. Okay, so we can see wick is not below the previous wick. We can see the body is below this previous body here. That market's in that consolidation. Also have a wedge pattern on that five minute. So we be waiting for a breakout. So we're looking for a engulfing pattern or it's price action candle unless that grows in the next few minutes. One to three minute doji's market's consolidating and headed down to the one minute and we still in that huge consolidation with a little bit of structure from bounce back and off, bounce up and down a structure. Very important information. Please study breakout retest strategy. Click on images. Also, Forex Pattern Cheat Sheet on images. Okay, guys, this is Cam Jones, FX Daily Analysis. Thank you for watching and thank you for your attention. M-S-E-R, stop.